Hi guys, it's Saturday morning. I'm in the middle of doing my makeup right now and I just wanted to check in as I was doing it because I feel like I've been slacking with the YouTube. It has been very busy. As you know, I do have a full-time nine to five job where I have to go into the office most days and I can't really show the office. So I don't really, I haven't really had that much to show you guys recently, but I do have some very big and exciting life events coming up in the next few months. I cannot wait to talk about it more. Not to be annoying, but I can't like go into it all now because I haven't told everyone in my office and stuff yet. Like I have talked to my bosses and things, but I'm not ready to kind of announce what I'm gonna be doing in the next few months until I tell a few more people that I have to tell. Just know that I'm kind of taking it slow right now with life in general and just like getting all my ducks in a row because I'm about to make a big life change is what I will say. Um, it involves leaving New York for part of it. So if you have any guesses of where I would go, feel free to comment below. For now, I'm focusing on my job and you know, I feel like during the summer, no one's really around that much. So there's kind of like a rush in the corporate environment to get a lot of things done by June before everyone starts going on vacation and like taking summer Fridays. And where I work, it's actually really nice. We get eight full summer Fridays. So like eight Fridays completely off, or you can pick 16 half days where you sign off at one, I think. It's my fifth year working and I always do the full day option just because I don't really know. I just, I like to sleep in. Like it's just easier for me, I guess. I'm putting a lot of blush on. I feel like it looks good with a pink shirt. Um, today I have my friend Sarah's birthday party and it is at Automatic Slims in the West Village in New York. This is my friend who got engaged last summer. I'll put a clip of her so you guys know whose birthday it is. It's starting at four. So right now it's like three. A few of my friends met up to have drinks before and stuff, but honestly, I just like needed a slow start. I was so tired. I really find like post COVID and quarantining and all of that, like going to the office now these days just takes so much out of me. And I've said that before, but it's like, once it becomes Saturday morning, I am just like fried. Like I'm just on the couch, like half asleep for the first few hours of the day. So I just got a slow start. I'm gonna bring you guys with me, Sarah, it's funny, I feel like her friends and her boyfriend, or fiance, sorry, all of them know about my channel and stuff, so they kind of think it's funny, if anything, when I'm like videotaping. Um, okay, upcoming summer plans. I have a few trips planned this summer. Let me know what would be fun to see. I have Sarah, whose birthday it is today. I have her bridal shower in June. I have her bachelorette in Newport, Rhode Island in June, which will be really fun because I've never been to Newport. It's kind of like a fun, preppy, small city slash town. That will be fun after that. Oh, I forgot, I have Taylor Swift in like a week. So I will definitely be talking about that because I'm so excited. We've been counting down for like six months and I wanted my surprise song to be could have, would have, should have, but she already played it somewhere else. If you're not like a Swifty and following, basically what she does is this is her era's tour so it's all of her past albums um that's why it's like such a big deal and you're seeing it go viral and selling out and all that because she's going through every single album she has and then she obviously can't do every single song because that would take like two days so she has a set list and then at every show she has two surprise songs that are not on the set list so it's kind of like a fun it's almost like sports betting people are joking about it's like you guess which song is going to be that night and people are placing bets and they have like their favorite songs and there's all these trackers it's just been fun leading up to the concert and having a later show in the season because we're at the very end of May because every show like there was one last night there's gonna be one tonight in Philly um we text and react to whatever the two surprise songs were so like last night it was come back be here and my friend Laura texted and was like I'm sobbing like that was my favorite song so that definitely has been adding to the excitement and I think one of our songs is gonna be welcome to New York unfortunately because we don't really want that one but it makes sense so but you never know with taylor she's she loves surprises so um that's in may then i think i'm going back to florida at one point and i actually might go to miami which will be fun because my mom really wants to go. It's actually hilarious. My mom follows Dave Portnoy from Barstool. I have no idea how or why, um, but we are gonna go to his restaurant Rex because she wants to and I'm like, sure. 
and then I'm going to the Hamptons in July, which also will be super fun. Oh, and Fire Island in July. And I'm probably missing something. Okay, I need to finish my eyes. I have been doing the white eyeliner thing, but I think the one I just got, this NYX one, is too pigmented. Like, it, it does not look natural at all, but whatever. Actually, that's not that bad. Maybe I was just putting too much on yesterday. And I got my hair cut yesterday too. That's why it looks better than usual. I do not know how to blow dry my hair properly. I went to the Bumble and Bumble salon in meatpacking. I had Selena. She was great. I think it looks pretty good. She kept it long, but it's layered. Um, okay, I'll be right back though because I have to focus while I put on my eyeliner because I can't multitask like that. All right, I'm ready. I'm drinking some liquid IV. I think I have a discount code. I'll link it below, but I always do these or like something like these before drinking just because I do actually notice a difference, especially with like headaches and stuff. This is my outfit. This shirt is from Rent the Runway, which is like a rental clothing service. So I don't know what the actual designer is, but I'll link it too in case anyone wants it. Or I'll try to find something similar. Um, jeans are a Goldie. These are Pumas. And I bring this bag that I use a ton actually. I have to clip it, but it's my Stodd shoulder bag. This is the bag. They're not very cheap. They're kind of like in between, you know, a really nice bag and a casual one. I think it's originally like $250 or something. I got it on sale for like half off and I thought the colors were kind of weird at first and I was like, am I going to wear this? But honestly, it goes with like pretty much everything and I get compliments on it every single time and they have a bajillion different patterns and stuff. I also think it's like a really good gift idea, like for a special gift. If you know someone graduating high school and going to college or something, I think that would be really cute gift for them also last thing before i go this is super random but t-pain the rapper well like i guess r&b singer more so he has an album called on top of the covers i recommend for all ages all genres he does covers of like don't stop believing tennessee whiskey oh this one's so good like so good so i was listening to that um i feel like people didn't talk about that album enough but okay, let's walk over to Automatic Slims. We kind of have a bit of a walk, but I'll show you the West Village on a Saturday and what it's looking like right now. I haven't been outside today, which is kind of bad, but like I said, I just like passed out on the couch basically. And it's like 80 degrees, I think. So hopefully by the time I get there, I'm not super hot and <laughs> going to this crowded bar. But today was cash only. Every once in a while that will happen. So just had to detour and take out some cash, which is a little bit scary because the banks are closed today. So I had to go into like an ATM with no one there. Um, so I always double check and make sure like no one's coming in behind me. I'm about to be at the bar in a second. I'm realizing I've talked about this bar before when I was just walking around. I remember pointing out and being like, it's on a random quiet street in West Village, but it's just like a fun bar really good to rent out for birthdays but I just remembered that because I'm walking here and it's so quiet it's like not where you think a loud bar with lots of music would be Hi guys, it's Sunday today, Sunday afternoon, and I'm in the Upper East Side. It's a different area of the city for sure. Um, I'm currently walking to the Met. I just got off the subway. As you know, the Met Gala theme this year was Karl Lagerfeld and Chanel. So I'm going with my friend to see the Chanel exhibit that they have there. I think it's limited edition, and I also think it's free to get in with my New York ID. I'm not sure. Definitely very fun and affordable weekend activity. So, sorry, I'm out of breath because her subway got there a lot faster than mine, so I'm trying not to have her waiting on the steps for too long. And yeah, I see Central Park right in front of me. So after the exhibit, I'm gonna get dinner in the park with two of my other friends. I think Sarah only wants to do the museum and the other two only wanted to do dinner. So everyone's invited to both, but I'm just going from one plan to the next. Um, Cause it's like, once I'm already up here, might as well stay up here. Oh, so sunny. So I'm gonna keep walking and I'll check back in a few once I'm at the Met. Right before the Met. There's this fun art area, which is cool. Like, these prints are perfect. If you're visiting, love. Here we are. Hi. 
Hi. Sorry, I'm vlogging today. What's That's up? Okay. Central Park going to meet Lily and Morgan and it is just the most beautiful day in the world right now. Look at the climbing a tree, it's out of a movie. Yoga with the dog. Birthday. Everyone's just doing their own thing. I wish I could come here more often. It's just far from me and it's kind of near my office and it's like the days that I don't have work. I don't really want to come all the way up here which is a bummer but in the future I would definitely live on the Upper East Side or Upper West Side, like just food for thought because it's just so nice up here. I mean, I guess during the winter it can maybe be a little isolating, but if anyone lives up here, let me know if you like it because, oh my gosh, I don't want to rule it out, you know? That, I think I have bad news to cheat picnic. What? I think there's only one set of chopsticks. No. Oh, two. I think I'm going to No, no, I mean, no. <laughs> why do we have four spoons <laughs> and two sets of chopsticks? I thought you were gonna say no spicy mayo, so. Why would these are cans? Why would they like give us two? Cheese. Usually they give you more than you need because like this is mine? so much food. Well, we get one and you get one. Oh, I see, I see. I understand. What, do you think there's like a spoon, a fork store? I don't need it, I like eat my- The ice cream hand. man just gave me napkins. The salad's gonna be crazy though. He said as long as I keep my smile, I can have free <laughs> napkins. <laughs> just stopped at CVS, now we're gonna get ice cream, woo! What'd you guys get? Anything good? Uh, she'll do a haul for you. Oh, and coffee. Nice. The essentials. And some tampons too. Oh, okay. Small little chocolate brownie. Hey guys, good morning. It's Monday. I just made a little peanut butter toast with chia seeds and then I have this Beekeepers Naturals honey and my allergies yesterday at the park, I'm about to cough right now. They were so bad. I don't know what is with the pollen this year, but everyone has been saying that. I had a coughing attack to the point where I was glad I was with like two of my best friends because that would have been really embarrassing in front of anyone else. I like could not breathe for a few minutes. So this is bee pollen and I've always really liked that trick like of having honey or bee pollen and stuff. Apparently once you consume it, it's kind of like getting a little booster shot. Like it makes you um, not as reactive to the pollen in the air. So I just put that on the toast. If you're wondering, I don't have a toaster because it's such small counter space. But honestly, I feel like if you are in a small space like me, the toaster is a good thing to go because I just put it in the oven for like five to 10 minutes and it's the same thing. I really don't mind at all. So I'm gonna have this for breakfast. It's a laundry day. So I'm gonna bring my stuff over to the laundromat. I do my laundry myself and I just go back and forth. I drop it off, put it in the machines, come home for like 20 minutes, go back. It's a whole thing and I dread doing it, but I do it on Mondays when I'm working from home. And I recently learned the earlier you go, the better, which like duh makes sense. Cause if you're there in the middle of the day, everyone's in different points in their washing cycle. But if you get there in the morning, a lot of the machines are still open. So I try to do that early on Mondays. So yeah, I'm just gonna start my day working from home. It's great. automatically love tart and they like want to they want shoes and dresses and then every day like in between every day you would get a knock on your door and there would be more presents dropped. Oh it's delivering! If you go on this island you have this opportunity to meet all these influencers. So as you can see, I'm letting the rest of my clothes dry in my bed because I don't have anywhere else to have them dry. They're just basking in the sun. This is usually my routine. Um, these pants, by the way, are from Amazon and I will also link them below. They are such comfortable pajama pants. They're perfect for errands because I think that they're cute enough where they're great to just like walk around my neighborhood and do laundry and all of that. So I've been liking them. They're so comfortable and they have pockets. 
so right at five i passed out like i shut my computer today and passed out for two hours because i haven't been sleeping due to my allergies being so bad and i'll show you guys the pollen when i pass it like it's all over the sidewalks and stuff it's like my makeup smudge like i just passed out on the couch which is so unlike me i didn't make it to my workout class um but i'm proud of myself right now because it's seven and i'm like you know what i'm going on a walk i wasn't ready to just like be on the couch and making dinner and stuff so i'm gonna walk to the west side highway right now about to be there and just do like a little pre-dinner walk which is nice i felt like a slob kebab after passing out <laughs> this is the pollen i'm referencing yes like no wonder i cannot breathe walking trail next to the highway or I guess that's the highway really you know what I mean just I was feeling crazy decided to mix it up take the world less travel today uh, I'm gonna try to make it to like 40 minutes which is super and then turn around and go home I think that's enough for today